Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for March 25th, 2020. So here we go, very appropriate card. We have Malachite Healing. So this isn't just about physical healing, although that does play into it uh, in large part here, but Malachite is a very um, healing crystal by revealing truth. It can actually make you a little mouthy, <laughs> I feel. Like if you carry it and you try to carry this to work because part of that healing is speaking your truth. So if you're in a toxic situation, you're gonna feel the truth and you'll wanna speak it. Um, if you are, you know, God forbid, if you get ill in any way, you know, the Malachite healing brings forward a truth of, well, you never handled this emotional thing. And so now this is manifesting in a physical way. And now it makes you more susceptible to uh, things that are happening out in the world. So that's what I'm getting at here with Malachite. The healing comes from some bit of emotional healing. It's very Archangel Raphael kind of energy. So there's some emotional healing going on here that then can make you more aware of what's going on in your body. And I think everybody is very focused on health <laughs> right now and watching and wondering and, you know, feeling healed with a sense of lack of freedom, because that's something that I'm seeing right now. Even as I'm recording this, there are people running around outside. They're not social distancing. You know, they're still going about their lives. There's been some changes. Like I said, a lot of people are said this a few days ago. A lot of people are working from home. So... There's lots of noise around. They're trying to get construction projects done because it's springtime. You know, they're trying to get that all done. But, you know, part of this healing is having an understanding of what is needed right now. <laughs> okay. Um, yes. Feel, like I was saying, you know, feeling healed from a lack of freedom. If you feel like you are confined to your home, there are things that you can do. But, you know, again, let's not overcorrect. And like people are out there doing right now, they're just doing their thing, right? So you are getting very healed because you really have this big opportunity to spend time on your own, yes, or to spend time reconnecting with your family. Now you, you know, a lot of people, we still have internet and all that, thank God, because I have an internet-based business. But, you know, if everyone can put the phones down, if you have, you know, people in your family that are staying in, you know, this is your chance to get to know one another. And if you're watching this and you're younger, do not do this thing of, oh, my parents, I can't talk to my parents. Of course you can. Your parents love you. And if you're in a bad situation, there's help out there. There are lots of people who love you and who want to help you. So reach out. But if you're in a situation where your parents do take an interest in your life, uh, let them in. Okay, they love you, they care about you. So let these kinds of things be healed. This also feels like a lot of deep conversations that people are having. So if you're one of those people who's like, oh yeah, I need to have a conversation with that person because what you said offended me. Listen, before you call anybody, you better sit and understand why you were offended in the first place. Well, because this person is a jerk and they were verbally abusive. Well, that's a different thing, <laughs> okay? But um, I've had situations where someone's healing talk was to come to me and say, hey, this thing that you said to me, you know, ages ago, that really offended me. And I would like for you to apologize. And the thing, once they reminded me of it, it, it wasn't, I, I didn't say anything nasty. I was actually very encouraging, but they wanted to put a negative twist on it and try to take it personally, <laughs> you know? So like part of the healing is having some honesty here. And, you know, just like, okay, maybe you have some talks to have with somebody if you want to you know, say, hey, that was offensive to me. Look at why it was offensive to you first. And if it really was offensive, then you have that bit of honesty. But if you have somebody coming to you because they're trying to have a healing conversation and, you know, they're twisting, the, you know what I'm saying? Like we all have to kind of gauge whatever situation we're in. <laughs> right? So today's a good day. It's going to be messy. See all those swirls on the crystal? That's going to be like your day. Like there's just layers upon layers upon layers. And there's a ripple effect that seems like it pauses and just is sort of cemented in time. And some of you might feel stuck, stuck in the middle of all those layers and not sure what direction to go. Remember, we had that relaxation card. So relax into it. Get your thoughts clear. Clear your body. Yes, your mind, your heart, your soul. Clear all that away. Don't clear away your soul. I mean, just clear out all the negative energy <laughs> before you try to communicate with anybody. Okay, so we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you so much love and take care. Bye-bye.